Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to set up this Amazon Fire TV Cube. So first, let's unbox it, see what all comes in the box. It's got a little seal back here, you got to break the seal. And now let's open it up. Okay, so let's take everything. There's the cube. Looks like we got some cord, power cord, batteries, a remote control. So there is instructions in this box, and it looks like they're... There's nothing in that box. Okay, so here's the power supply. It is 15 watts. And there's the type of connector it has. Let's open up the cube. All right. So on the back, looks like we got an HDMI in and an HDMI out, infrared extender, a power cord. So you're gonna plug this in and then that's where the power cord goes. We have a USB and a network cable. On the top, we got volume buttons look like. We can turn, mute the speaker and do an activation. The bottom is a little bit grippy. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. Here's the remote. Here's what it looks like. Got some quick button accesses. Let's open it up. It does come with two AAA batteries. You're simply gonna kind of push. You got an arrow. You got to slide this this way when you kind of press down right here. Let's put the batteries in. They're going to go the same way. Positive is going to go up. Positive is going to go up. Let's take this, slide it on there, and closed. So it does come with a nice manual that kind of talks about all the connections. Okay, really quick measurements. So three and three eighths. Three and three eighths looks like that's about a cube. And three inches up down. Power supply is almost two inches. Sticks out of the wall about an inch and three eighths by two inches. Now it does say you can plug it into 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Output is 12 volts, 1.25 amps. Okay, so let's go hook it up to the TV and see how it does. Okay, so I've got it plugged into my TV. I plug the power port in and I've got the HDMI out going to my TV, one of my TV inputs. So it does not come with an HDMI cable. Okay, so this is the screen when you first plug it in and power it on. Okay, so it goes through a bunch of different lessons. Um, so you're gonna press the home button, that, that one looks like a house, for 10 seconds. This is gonna pair the remote. Okay, so that paired the remote, pressing that one that looks like a house. Now you're gonna press the play button, it says. So the one with the play button, press that. Okay, so now we're to English. Here, I hit the center button to select it. Now it's gonna restart. So it is doing an update. Okay, so that update took about five minutes. Okay, so now it says it's downloading the latest software. Okay, so it I had this ordered under my account, so it's gonna ask you if you wanna, it's gonna have your name up there. It's gonna ask you if you wanna continue or change accounts. I'm gonna hit continue. So it looks like you can put your old apps on the new Fire TV or skip it. Now it wants to know if you want to use Alexa to control your devices. You can continue to set up or do this later. Then it asks if you want parental controls enabled or disabled. Then it's going to ask if you want to choose your streaming devices. So we can choose, like I have YouTube TV. I can go down and pick whatever else ones I want. So once you got the ones you want, you got to press the play button to get past this. Okay, so here's the home menu. Um, it looks really nice. Now, I'm just using this thumb wheel to navigate it. I can go down. I can go over to the right. I can click on Netflix. These are my apps installed, Prime Video. If I want to add more little apps right here, I can click that little button right there. I can add some more widgets to that area. So on the remote, if I press the blue button, that's going to bring up Alexa, and I can talk to it. And I've got these quick access buttons, so if I, want to go, if I want to go right to Netflix, I can just press that button and it turns Netflix on. So basically, you're going to use this thumb wheel to kind of go up and down between them all, left or right. And when you, want, when you find something you want, you can hit select. Jack Wise. So one thing I do notice about this is the picture is very clear. And anytime you want to get, go back to the main menu or the home screen, press the little one that looks like a house right there. So this is considered like the home screen. Again, there's all your, your apps. You can scroll down. 
So in order to use the Alexa to speak, you can speak into this remote. You gotta hold this button down. There's a little blue light on the remote and there's a little blue light that circles on the fire uh, cube also. And then when you're all done, if you wanna turn the fire TV off, you're just gonna hit the power button right there at the top left. Uh, for some reason, I can't get, the power is not turning the unit off for some reason, so. So this has a very nice interface. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.